Hello everybody, I am Ninspark and welcome back for some more Bioshock Part 5, I believe. Um, yeah, so it's me, Ninspark, on the EGF channel, and yeah, Bioshock, uh, back again. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's just get right in, right to it. Uh, this is where we beat that, um, one guy, I, I don't know what his name is for the life of me, but, um, uh, he was the one that had, like, the smoke bombs or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but here I have having my melee weapon out. And, ooh, Atlas is talking. Alright, so he was talking about the security cameras, saying that Ryan is, like, basically stalking us as we go on in the Bioshock adventure. And here's some armor piercing pistol rounds which is pretty cool and then a first aid kit which is always good and that's a cor corpse which is pretty creepy is it gonna get incinerated i don't know and <laughs> i don't stick around to find out gosh um um say there's semen on everything okay that is awkward um so i'm really just they're telling us that you to use C to crouch, and I'm really just not trusting myself with the uh, gun for some reason. I don't know why I didn't use my gun, but um, I'm not trusting myself with the gun, and I just <laughs> stick hard with the ranch, but I should really get better at the gun. I think you guys would agree with me when I say that I need to get better at the gun, and this guy has a, a two pistol rounds, which we pick up. Okay, so, uh, and Ryan. We rebuild our city of the doubters and the fly to spoil our own. One thousand atoms for the man or woman who pins its wings. Okay, so uh, he used some kind of metaphor analogy, whatever. And what is this? Incinerate, power up, E. New plasma, incinerate, incinerate when it has posi absolute positively has to erupt in flames, blah blah blah. Set objects and creatures on fire. Repeated use to increase the pain. Ages 12 and up. So we can use this thing because I am 15. And what is this? Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. I don't like how they're weirdly happy about it. And we have enemies come to us right away with those, uh, with that. And for some reason I'm attacking the windows, but I was like panicking because this game makes me freaked out. Um, and that is a masquerade girl and we are gonna crouch, crouch and fire. Boom, there's oil all over the, <laughs> the, uh, the floor. And I fail to realize that as I'm playing this um, and I think I'm on fire. All roads in Rapture lead to Ryan. The security, the splicers, the big daddies, the little sisters. He pumps some kind of chemical scent in the air. Pheromones, they call it. Makes them all dance to his tune. Pheromones is what controls these guys, I guess? I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really sure, um... But it's telling a C to stand up, and there's like oil all over. And this girl has coffee. Girl, guy, I don't know. I incinerated them. Incinerated. And, um, yeah. So this is the exit. We're gonna go down. And it just makes a loop. Uh, so I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Um, but then there's the upstairs. And then there's a, hi uh, there's a security camera. And apparently we need to hide from it. Um, oh, wait. Wait, 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 this is the same place, um, right. Okay, so I'm up here again, and I'm just standing on the table, because, um, I think, uh, I don't, I think I heard a noise? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Um, but, yeah, so crouch, crouching, crouching like a boss, and then that incinerate thing comes up again, which is fine. That's the first aid kit. We can't grab the saw, which is the, but whatever. Um, first aid kits must, are handy in this game because you do often uh, attack. So right now I'm just trying to figure out where to go because those stairs bring a loop and then the other stairs is an exit and it takes us back to where we were. So I don't really know where we're supposed to go. I think, um, 
this episode is me kind of like searching backtracking and stuff um so we just found 30 more machine round guns so this is back where the corpse was and then I see a door over there and then I go towards it but this is the door that we entered from because that is where the desk place is so I don't really know where to go I can stop the episode early just to uh, just to be like, um, I'm gonna look up where I go because I don't know, um, I feel like I'm missing story when I uh, play this game, um, but then I, like, do the commentary and then I, uh, know it again, but, um, I feel like I'm missing story because, um, I'm kind of on edge when I play this game. I don't know why. I think it's because my computer is like really weak and then like everything I hear is surprised. I usually don't play horror games, so yeah, uh, that's one thing. But I, I don't really play horror games that much, but I am enjoying a Bioshock. Don't get me wrong. Even though I'm scared doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying it because I am enjoying it. It's just, um, just, uh, it's just I sometimes miss information, which is usually why um, I'm having trouble. You know where to go, where to, what, where to go, what to do, uh, blah blah blah. Atlas isn't telling me where the frick to go. And then that is another enemy, and for some reason they're all like having masks on. Whatever. Um, but this is the thuggish splicer, um, or at as Atlas would say, splicer or something like that. I don't know. I'm horrible at accents. Um, um, uh, splicers, something like that. I don't know. I forget how he sounds like. I don't know why. I know how he sounds like, but I forget, like, his, um, his accent or whatever. Uh, but here's another door, and I decide to go, um, backtrack, and it's saying that he gives the next plasmid, but I'm just like, no! Stay with incinerate, because incinerate fire, I am dauntless. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, are you a man or a slave? What? So I pick up this parasite, uh, but I actually don't play the diary because I'm trying to get away, and then, like, the thing goes away, and I'm like, I'm not gonna see it goes away right then, and then I'm just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, search for that, um, in my freaking inventory, and we're back in the medical pavilion. So, I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, IDK. Um, uh, but yeah, and that is that, um, <sighs> so, yeah, making my way around town, going fast, going faster, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and that security is going again, leave me alone, security monster, security thing, um, uh, it'd be really cool if we got to saw ha see what got to saw no it would be really cool if we got to like see glimpses or like flashbacks or something of how this place was like on the inside before that would have been really cool like um people walking around or something and now that I look back I probably should have tried to go in that elevator whatever thing but I doubt that it would let me go anywhere um, but I, will, I think it would have been good if I checked, but I must have forgotten. I'm really just trying to find where to go, and that door doesn't open. Why don't you open door? Cursed door doesn't open. But, yeah, okay, so here's a health station, and I wanted to say V to hack it. And then I'm like, I'm not gonna hack it, I'm just gonna auto-hack. And then, um, I auto-hack, and that was my last auto-hack. I wasn't sure, I don't, sh I, now that I know, now that I look at this, I'm not sure if that was the best option of to like auto hack it because there might have been something else better to auto hack or something harder to hack manually and um, I would just auto hack it. But I don't know, I don't regret my decision because my decision is always right. Just kidding. Um, we are in the dental area right now. Uh, so this is that one place that we were at, um, I forget what it was, uh, it was someone's desk, Andrew Ryan's desk maybe, I don't know. Is Andrew Ryan alive? Because Atlas certainly speaks like he is, 
because uh, you know how he was saying the security cameras and he's like Andrew Ryan's eyes blah blah blah, blah. but uh, yeah I'm not sure uh, so now we're back here where we were and things are confusing but whatever um, so yeah back to the oil for the floor the oily floor um, and I'm stuck beneath that column so we're gonna crouch again go inside here uncrouch and then apparently I'm on the desk um, but apparently there are cigarettes and then I take them and oh it had a little puff of smoke that's actually pretty cool but uh, yeah I have the cigarettes and cigarettes aren't good for you kids just know that anyways this episode is coming to a close um yeah so uh, I think this has been not that the best episode but you know I'll figure out what to do um next time because I kind of uh uh, I don't know, I just wasn't really knowing. I was trying to search for a story. But, uh, yeah, so see you guys later. Bye.